Hello everyone and welcome to another video lesson. This time we will discuss experimental variables. Take a moment to look at the poster. What do you think is the message of the poster? Science had given us a lot of knowledge about the natural world and given us countless technologies that ultimately made our lives very easy and comfortable. Scientists perform experiments to give us these things. Experiments are important facet of understanding the world. That is why it is important to understand how to correctly perform an experiment. And we should understand what composes an experiment? Then, let's discuss experimental variables. Let's define the word variable. Variable is said to be a factor in an experiment that can change or can be changed. Another, it's any factor trait or condition that can exist in differing amount or types. And lastly, variables can be manipulated, controlled, or measured in an experiment. In other words, a variable is an important element in your science experimentation. It is actually what uh, experiments are made of. There are three types of variables. The first one is the independent variable or, or IB. Independent variable is a factor or condition that you manipulate in an experiment. The key word here is manipulate. Another is the dependent variable or DB. Factors or conditions that you observe or measure in an experiment. The key words here are measure and observe. And lastly, controlled variable or CB. Factors or conditions that you manage to keep constant or controlled for during the course of an experiment. The key word here is constant. To understand more on the relationship of these three variables in an experiment, let's have this diagram. Independent variable is the one that uh, causes an effect or it's the reason the, uh, for a change. And then the effect would be the dependent variable. So when you change something, that's the independent variable, it will produce an effect the dependent variable. Another thing that you should take note is the controlled variable. Although it causes an effect, scientists uh, keep it constant to prove or to measure what it intends to measure. Independent variable is the manipulated variable. Dependent variable is the one that you measure. And controlled variable is the one that you um, make constant. For example, condition A will produce an outcome A. And then the controlled variable uh, will also have an effect uh, for outcome A. Although again, it will be constant for all experimental setup. Another condition B will produce an outcome B. And then condition B for controlled variable will uh, have an effect for uh, the dependent variable. Although, again, it will be constant for all experimental setup. So let's have an example. The problem for our experiment would be how does classical music affect plant growth? So again, the independent variable, remember, is the cause. The dependent variable is the effect. And then the controlled variable will be the constant. 
So what would be the independent variable for this problem? How does classical music affect plant growth? So the independent variable is the classical music, the one that you will change. And then the result or the one that you intend to measure is the plant growth. What is the effect of classical music in plant growth? And then the other things that you should take note or should remain constant are the factors for growing plants. So we want to measure what would be the result if there's a classical music and what would be the result if there's no classical music. So this one, classical music, is your independent or manipulated variable. So to be more specific, your independent variable is playing a classical music. Your dependent variable will be the size of the plants. And the constant variables are the type of soil, amount of water, the time for sunlight, and other things for growing plants. So this uh, is the relationship between the three variables. And that's the... Uh, that's our lesson for uh, video lesson for today. I hope that you learned something.